hey y'all welcome back to the channel uh, i was hearing that song i'm coming home by diddy i'm coming home i'm coming home to the world that i'm coming home wash away so let the tears wash away all the i don't know is that the words all the pain of yesterday i know my kingdom awaits and they forgive my mistakes i'm gonna so somebody got something that's waiting for them um because of that get alchemist clear audience somebody may have a gift of clear audience you can hear things from the other side re receiving intuitive messages from spirit you're true alchemist you know how to alchemist alchemist you know how to alchemize and transmute energies it's a full moon tonight too you guys so 12 12 i am focused yes um you may be focused you need to focus on the best possible outcome right now remain optimistic so not your future is going to be very bright or that your angels and guides are definitely right behind you and guiding you i'm gonna take this out so yeah 12 12 crowning this reader definitely um i just was doing a reading for somebody last two cards out here were the ace of pentacles ace of swords and the wheel of fortune so yeah some type of energies is changing or your fate your destiny this is a turning point right now for the collective Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. All these damn cards that came out. I don't really wanna. I don't know if I wanna take those. Oh, a lot of cards. Mm. That's a world card out here. So new cycle words coming in closing things out it could be closing out a cycle with a king of swords it could be an air doesn't have to be definitely feel like you're moving slowly <laughs> or something is very like um steady i'm here towards this progress towards this change could have been some type of conflict that you were going through this could be what you're moving away from conflict with the lover it'd be gemini energy but you are going into a new cycle. Queen of Pentacles could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, heavy Capricorn, Sagittarius. Capricorn and Sagittarius is the energies of this card, but could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Definitely feel like you could be closing out of a cycle with a lover or some type of energies of like conflict, temperance. Yep, especially if there was a lot of like arguments and chaos, conflict. You're in a more tempered energy. This is what this new cycle is bringing for you. Could be a Taurus. You got the queen, uh, queen of pentacles and the empress. So you're heavy earth sign energy. You're very grounded. You're very down to earth. It's her luxurious. So somebody's meant to live a very luxurious life. You could be using this energy of this moon. Heavy earth sign energy. Yeah, you could be walking away from something. Possibly because of a third party. We got the three of pentacles. But I do feel like it's going to bring balance into your energy. Balance into your life. Four of Wands. I asked why Why was the Empress and the um, Queen of Pentacles out here? This could be two different people. Or this could be you. You could be coming out as this, you know, down to earth, very stable, grounded, um, prosperous person. But we have the Four of Wands, which usually indicates um, a commitment, stability, something coming together, balance, heavy on the balance. Something that's going to, whatever this is that's coming in for you, you have the Chariot card, somebody could be moving towards you. It's going to bring balance into your life. It could be even somebody wanted to like move in with somebody or usually i always get two this could be like a marriage or something like that somebody could see you as like some marriage material with the page cuffs this could have been like an apology coming in i was like why did they want to apologize judgment somebody could have judged you or this person is now in a judgment but I, mm. okay this person could have caused conflict yeah and they secretly with the moon here or some type of something here that somebody did the sun card with um queen of cups a leo pisces cancer scorpio could be significant so something is something being revealed something being revealed so far it usually indicates some type of revelation some type of clarity Possibly about how somebody feels for you. King and Queen of Cups is out here. 
Somebody may have a lot of emotions for you. They want to show you Ten of Cups. Somebody may want to show you like. Somebody's having a, somebody making plans, and I keep hearing that song. Baby, I've been making plans for you. There's a question on my heart. You got it. So somebody want to let you know you got their whole heart. Baby, I didn't even notice the emperor and the empress that came out. So yeah, it's going to be an Aries, Taurus. Don't have to be, but this is somebody who sees you as their counterpart because we have the king and queen of cups out here. We got the emperor and the empress. This is your match. I'm going to be surprised at that King of Pentacles. You guys, Five of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. You guys are coming out as matches. I literally was just saying, I wouldn't be surprised at that King. Anyway, Six of Wands is about success, victory. This is somebody who can stand by your side and match everything. Your flat, your beauty, your essence. Like, yes, this person sees you as a divine counterpart. And this could be somebody who left you out in the cold at one point. You could have left them out in the cold or... Six of Wands. Something that's reaching the turning point, you guys. This has got to be a love story. A love story with the full card. Somebody want to take a leap of faith towards you. They want it to be very successful. Achievement, praise. I did see the word pride. Pride was the first word I saw. So somebody could have had pride issues. Two of cups. This is definitely a relationship that somebody wants to invest in. Somebody definitely want to take this leap of faith. And again, fear could have been holding this person back or something that happened between the two of y'all. Or what was holding this person back? I don't know was anything holding them back okay we got the ace of pentacles so they do want to make an offer towards you maybe they money was i did see the five of pentacles maybe they money wasn't where it needed to be before they felt insecure a lack of motivation or what could have been like an air i don't know i keep seeing i don't mm. communication is coming through those heavy taurus energies so somebody does want to communicate with you somebody does see you as somebody that's like i just heard divine this is their guidance they've been getting communication from spirit to do this too though this could be like a somebody that was like mm. This person could have been holding back from you. This could have been like an old friend or something. They don't have to be. I didn't see the three of cups, which usually indicates friendship. It could have been somebody who wanted something more to friendship with you. Nine of pentacles. So that somebody could be single now or wishing that, or wondering if you're single or wishing that you were single. This is going to be your divine justice, though. They want to heal something with you. This person not playing. They do They do have every intention on healing. Damn. Eight of Pentacles. Ain't no sneaky cards come out, and I love to see it. Let me get this person a snap. I don't know what they was on in the past. Ace of Cups, baby, when I cut the day. This person, baby. I'll say, I don't know what they was on in the past, but they put an end to that shit. If this is somebody from your past, this could be somebody new. But we do have the Ace of Cups. This usually indicates a new love or a fresh, something that's fresh here. Somebody's feelings for you. You see all this water overflowing. I promise you, if this person has been holding back from you, <laughs> Maybe this person don't want to hold back no longer. They're making plans for you. That's why I keep hearing that damn song. Cause baby, I've been making plans for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Spirit does says it's, it says it's time to stand up and speak for yourself. Speak up for yourself. Something in here where you may have needed to speak your truth. It could be you or your person. Or somebody could have been trying to walk all over somebody. This could be what's causing this big shift. Like somebody's finally learning like boundaries. How to sit up for So there will soon be cause for celebration in your life. So get ready. Yeah, y'all gonna be celebrating once this comes in. I get the sense that you are wanting this. Cause like I said, I didn't get no, I didn't get no cards about, oh, this person's sneaky. This person was deceptive. This is a painful. Which it could have been some things. In the, but I don't see none of that. It literally says you will be blessed with financial abundance. So this could be like. <laughs> I'm cracking up. <laughs> somebody needs to get some rest. Yeah, be grateful. You've been focusing on a lot of things that don't matter. You were the gift of fertility is all over this reading. Whatever you're trying to birth into this rest, somebody could be pregnant. Very fertile. Yep, I promise you've been focusing on things that don't matter. It literally says focusing on the negative is only going to bring the results that you don't want. Somebody could literally be like, you just thinking of you just thinking of the worst case scenario, and I'm getting that's not. That is not your story. hearing that word destiny somebody's name could be destiny but something is just you've been manifesting this 
make oh manifesting dreams your power is activated everything is flowing easily something is have to do with your creative endeavors as well creativity gateway to creation creative solutions and ideas a strong urge to express yourself so you may feel the need to like express yourself right now especially like this is your person or you and you can want to express yourself to, to your person mm. but i do feel like for, if for some of y'all this is like a creative endeavor that you've been feeling the need to like start it's going to bring in like some type of manifestation for you yeah that's her dream journal so somebody may write their dreams and go down in a journal where you need to bottled up you've been keeping a lot bottled up again you could release that express it this may be y'all person though pent up emotions calm and collected somebody trying to keep cool be cool calm and collected but i promise you this is how they're really feeling on the inside like their emotions is beginning to overflow consuming passion i promise you it says infatuation somebody may be very infatuated you infatuated with you but also something about their they very lustful for you as well sexual chemistry you and this person may share a lot of sexual chemistry i'm also getting like when y'all in the room is or you, you know it's gonna be that way you're alchemizing a lot right now though you may be feeling a lot of emotions as well because i feel like y'all can't even be feeling what this person is feeling mm. this person has consuming passion for you that they can't even you know this is somebody you left out in the cold they left you out in the cold literally says left out in the cold ready to give up emotional or material loss this person could have went through some type of emotional or material loss once they left your life or once you detached from them or oh, yeah it could have been some type of betrayal i don't know whatever reason whatever or, or somebody could have left them out in the cold somebody could have betrayed them yep the grasp of greed this person this person could have been a little greedy i don't they could have just been doing stuff they didn't need to do. This could have been like them wanting more than one person at one point. Or I don't know. This person could have been in some shit they want to Materialism. They could have been very materialistic or connected to materialistic people. So, you know, they usually don't end up well. Possessiveness, selfishness. This person could have been very selfish at one point. Now they feel left out in the cold by certain people. or uh, Something about winter because there's snow on this car. So. Yep says uh new connection shaping your reality bringing the past present and future so something is coming together for you in alignment but it did come out in reverse so somebody could have been wanting to stop you from twin flame i promise you this is your twin flame i don't know i was getting that energy like you y'all feeling the same energy i was getting that but so many of my readers nowadays been saying the twin flame, twin flame. i don't want to make it too much about the twins but maybe this is the season of the twins baby this is a card of alchemy I promise you reviving what was lost creating something out of nothing some this is y'all twin flame baby i'm here arising from the ashes whether you want this person back or not <laughs> creeping down this person got doubt like do this person want me do that yeah some of y'all might some of y'all might not it's up to you it's life this person is most definitely daydreaming though about being with you reconciliation i'm definitely feeling like maybe they see the bigger picture now yes they are your twin yin and yang life forever changed whether you want this person back or not baby they life changed the moment they met you i'm hearing but also even more so when you walked out of their life jealous one this person got possessive issues like they're very possessive more than maybe they, than what they showed you and i'm getting like it may be surprising to some of y'all when this person come back around because they may act different look different talk different but baby once they come I'm, it's a heavy energy of possessiveness this person has over you and jealousy some of y'all might like oh i like that which is cute sometimes but it's like <laughs> this person may scared of losing you don't want to share protective of you very protective energy though but yeah something about the cycles something that may have been very many moon cycles before this happened or as much time may have passed or uh let go of the old honor the cycle you are in so some of y'all just want a new cycle y'all just want to be fresh you don't want this person oh yeah some of y'all just want maybe you already in a relationship maybe you're just focusing on the new things that's coming to your life the new blessings the new jobs the new opportunities and the career advances um you're honoring this cycle now you're no longer ready to focus on the past like wherever you at i'm with you okay if you want this person back they want you so if you just like if you want this it's there but it says what goes around comes around so this is definitely about karma this person is most definitely receiving some type of karma it was i, I saw on that card with the jealous one it was medusa or not medusa but she had snakes in her head so this person could have been i don't know it could have been some snake shit at first but again i'm getting like um you know medusa was a victim actually so it could have been a victim in a situation where and she was literally blamed for something that happened to her um and make, people made her out to be a monster so is something about that could be significant or somebody's like fuck i don't know, I don't know. maybe somebody's seeing the light in you now like i'm hearing like they could have been jealous at one point i just heard that for somebody too this could have something could have, look i won't see no bad cards in the tarot but i don't see that's bad but you know it could have been some type something that happened that 
ancestral karma. So this was karmic, something that happened in the beginning, like it was some type of karma that had to be paid off. But um, this is not a karmic relationship because this is about twin flames, but there could have been some type of karmic energies or karmic debt that needed to be paid off between the two of you. Gifts from the ancestors, someone you have a past with. Of course, this is your twin flame. This is definitely your twin flame. The color blue or pink could be significant. I'm hearing, uh, yeah, yin and yang, like they're, <laughs> The light to your shot, the, the shadow to your light. I don't know, you could be the shadow shade. Maybe you were the darker one. Fair is fair, though. This is your justice. Major differences. I'm telling you, it literally says major differences. So you and this person could have been very different. You, you or your person could have felt like love wasn't meant for you. Love was never going to find you. Or I don't know, but justice, balance, mutual benefit. You and your person are going to be able to mutually benefit from this. Whether you, like I said, you could want this person back or not. Heavy burdens. Because this person is carrying so much baggage. They're facing heavy burdens. And shit yeah this person i feel like your person could be very closed off and guarded or they were at one point you could have even been we got old soul here this person knows that you're an old soul it's not even supposed to be in this deck you have been around many lifetimes and have been chosen to be reborn and evolve and carry on your learning journey from where you left it in your previous life you teach this person so much your old soul especially if this person was guarded and closed off towards you before you could even be this way towards them now i don't know what transpired between the three y'all but they see that you're somebody who like damn you've been here before damn i could really learn from you i'm even getting even if your person is older than you whatever the case may be you may be older than them but this person sees you as a very wise intuitive soul very grounded feeling yeah something about the way that you feel things can inspire these deep emotions and feelings in other people that they've never felt before you can make other feet you can make others feel what you feel your energy inspires energy just be careful with what you invoke or inspire in others because it will come back to you what it says what goes around comes around so it's something significant about what you made this person feel now they want to make you feel that and i don't get it it's in a bad way some y'all somebody could have been holding a grudge but i don't get that uh, i feel like something that you felt for this person somebody could have been a narcissist your person could have had narcissistic traits could have been a pisces cancer scorpio don't have to be i don't know why that's just what's sitting at the bottom of the deck so but they getting karma i could tell you that much you know don't please don't think they whatever happened or whether they did something or not this could have just been somebody that you you know but the t yeah some type of gossip could have been going around possibly about your person or the both of y'all or about you it says talking about you having a reputation so this person may have a reputation or maybe you had a reputation i don't know but somebody could even been like trying to get information on you infinite abundance but it's like what can you say baby i'm abundant i'm a i'm abundant prosperous life unexpected windfalls knowing your self-worth and value this could have been what the tea was about like somebody could to, what what's tea so you could have taught somebody their own self-worth and value or you know that you don't fuck around like I just heard misery. So somebody's in misery. Or people that's gossiping about you could be people apart or in this person's life. Or this person could have been gossiping about you. I don't know. Okay? But you have a prosperous life that's coming your way. Infinite abundance. And this person does want to come in. And, like, I don't feel like they want to, oh, I just want to be around you to share this. I don't know that. We did have that grasp of greed card. So this person was in that energy at one point. Like, they could have just wanted their cake and eat it too. Or, But the divine hand is over this over your life but also a love situation that's going on here divine assistance might as touch attracting helpful people so you are somebody who people are always going to want to give unto you people are always going to want to pour into you because you're an earth angel i'm just seeing that clear as day like you're somebody who's very pure at heart i did say what i was asking myself in my head like what's hidden or what do you need to know it says give it some thought and think logically and rationally don't let your emotions control you so right now some of y'all may be not knowing if you can trust this person or not maybe this is why it's like yeah but we do have divine love here sacred emerald receiving abundance heart chakra activation so abundance may come through a connection that's i mean that's coming into your life or that's already here but i'm getting like this is what's coming because you've been manifesting this but i'm also getting like um think logically for some of y'all somebody may have story gonna be different for everybody but some of y'all y'all person may not have been ready maybe they're still not ready like and they i don't know why i don't know why i'm getting like think logically like that's how this time i see that card's kind of giving like what you what you got up your sleeve like maybe you need to get it some thought yeah it could be a pisces or a cancer with the moon energy you could be a pisces cancer or cancer sun moon rising venus north node fears insecurities things are not as they seem there are things to yet be revealed so this person has some type of insecurities or they've been holding back how they really feel but i'm also getting with the moon it could be some type of secrets that you don't fully know about yet that could be what it is 
that literally could be what it is and we at the bottom of the deck we do have fed up not taking them back some of y'all are fed up with this person you're choosing not to take them back regardless of what you choose baby you do have infinite abundance some type of wealthy lifestyle you're meant to live that's already in your energy it's a part of your contract but this person may have been demoted from your energy maybe this is what they're afraid of but you've inspired something within them yeah somebody feel like you're hard to please the world cards you may have closed out a cycle with this person they're really wondering if it's truly over if it's too late one more secret admirer yep this i promise you this person ain't told you how they felt i i know what i'm feeling i know i know and i'm telling you what it is it says fear of rejection that's what it really is because this person felt like whatever transpired between the two of you or maybe you just wouldn't especially if you really thinking back on certain things that happened and you're just like mm -mm, yeah. no no so yeah this person like damn why am i hearing certain things in my head i'm not gonna say that you're unaware of admirer's feelings. So you may not even know how this person feels. Or maybe you do, but not to what extent. Someone secretly watching you. I just heard secretly wanting you, though. <laughs> the devil card. This person is obsessed. Can you say obsessed? Capricorn energy. You may be. Or this person may be. Codependency. Yeah, they could be very codependent on your energy. Little do you know. Or they had things in their life that they were codependent on. Addicted to lower vibrational energies. This could have been why it was removed from your life. Could have even been very indecisive, indecisive about you. But literally, it says they're trying to fix it. Trying to fix it. Correcting or improving something. Making the best out of a bad situation. But this person definitely wants to come back and fix something. Outside influences. Others affecting the outcome. Listening to other people's opinions. External factors. This person could have really messed up by listening to other people who made something way more complicated than it was. That could have been the gossip. Somebody could have been gossiping about you or trying to get in this person's ear about you. But the divine hand is over this twin flag connection. So whatever's meant to happen is going to happen. Everything that already happened is meant to happen. This person has... I'm here. Ain't no matter what nobody say about you. This person's feeling for you ain't going away. Even if they did sit there and was fake <laughs> or, was, or was joining in on the tea and gossip, whether you want this person back or not, baby, I promise you they watch you. They're secretly obsessed with you. They admire you. They feel so much for you, but it's secretly heavy on the secretly Pisces Cancer energy. Even if it's like, no, I get it. I get that it is. I don't know. I just heard it could even be like a friendship where somebody's like wondering, like, would you ever? It's something here where somebody really just have a lot of an admiration for you, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody wants to give you something. Could have been an ending here, obviously. Ace of Swords, yeah. Person could have been like breadcrumbing you at one point. Scorpio, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It could have been left you heartbroken, or this person heartbroken now because you walked away, or they're walking away. I feel like this person is walking away from third party. Heavy Capricorn energy out here because they want to come towards you with this four of wands energy. It's twin flame, 1111. Oh, I thought it was judgment. This is temperance. Sagittarius energy, earth angel energy. Balance, patience. So this person does want you to be patient or they're trying to have patience, self-control. Something about the energy of somebody trying to keep it cool, calm, and collected. The world card yeah you could be like again like you choosing to like not take this person back or maybe just focusing on this new cycle that you're in and balance this earth angel energy finding new solutions that work for you completion you could have just learned your lesson here and this person is heartbroken like oh my god somebody could try to make you a third party nine of pentacles yes it's like you choosing to be happily free and single like an ending i'm definitely getting a big ending and now somebody wants to come and make it like right. But they feel like you're going to reject them. Because you're in this Queen of Swords energy. They're watching you though. you want in this Queen of Swords energy. You're not playing. This person could have been giving you like. Or little to nothing. Again it could be a Taurus. Or you could be this Taurus Libra energy. But this person sees you as their Ten of Cups. Mm. Or they saw that somebody else as their Ten of Cups at one point. The Devil card could have been a Karmic. Somebody, I bet they fucked around and found out. But they laying this to rest. 4-4 four, four energy here. So somebody's laying something to rest. Or whatever they were holding on to was definitely karmic. It did not get them the results that they wanted. Or it didn't have to be another person. It could have been these external forces. Like, oh, are you sure you want to do that? The whole time. It isn't over sure. 
or maybe at one point they wasn't that could have been what was the devil like energy because they were supposed to be like sure but they have to learn that lesson on their own it says spirit is confirming that you are ready to take this leap of faith trust that spirit has your back 100 percent. this is your person i'm speaking to but also this is y'all for some of y'all who are choosing to go in a new direction and maybe you were scared about this like is this really the right decision for me like trust your gut this leap of faith is going to open amazing doors for you new doors to changes in your life so go ahead and make that jump and say and make that decision take that risk because the time is now for some of y'all for those of you who this is your person uh yeah i feel like they're trying to gain the courage or confidence to come back around i do see them communicating but it says spirit is saying it's time to let go of the past so some of y'all y'all just like no I, I don't want this person and it's understandable like sometimes the past gets so outrated uh, a past lover past trauma or past memory so y'all could be letting all of this go possibly like choosing to forgive this person and move on or choosing to forgive them and reconcile but it says accept it for what it is and remember the lesson it, is, it has taught you but leave it where it's meant to be in the past if that ain't a word some of y'all gonna choose to like no i'm done with this forever because you learned the lesson i'm here like just roll with it like don't go back on what you feel because it could be saving you i ain't saying this person gonna do nothing to you but like you know you got abundance coming in, infinite abundance. So this person could just be like, uh, maybe it was just a lesson along the way. But I do feel like that was your twin flame. But for some of y'all, this was your twin flame. You could have recently experienced a type of tower moment in your life or whatever this is that's ending or coming crumbling down. Just know that it wasn't meant to withstand the test of time because something could have been, again, hidden information or something that you didn't fully see. But it's leading you towards something way better, way more balanced, way, you know, like I said, if you don't want to choose this person, that don't mean love is over for you forever just because you choose not to be with your twin flame. Some of y'all, you got, you got new love coming in with that Ace of Cups. You got somebody new who they haven't disappointed you. Maybe this is just what you're manifesting. I don't want nobody who disappointed me already. I don't want karmic relationships, souls, growth, conflict. So some of y'all, this, this could have been karmic. It could be like you manifesting a twin flame into your life now. Take the energy where it resonates or your person could have been dealing with karmics. The great severing. You literally. So this person is severing the energies with karmics or this is you. It says Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. So yeah, you could have been dealing with karmics in the past or this was a karmic experience to teach you to love yourself, to choose yourself and your self-worth. And now you're moving to somebody who could be your twin flame or this is just you choosing to soften to love even if you choose to be by yourself right now not everybody wants love well everybody wants love but not everybody is focused on love you got the love codependency boundaries so some of y'all learning to, like this person could have been you know something that you really wanted in your life but you have to learn boundaries even with, with friends families because friends and family could be karmic too but it says share your song frequency of sound diving deep so something about the elders, the ancestors are helping you to share your frequency, to raise your vibration, but also to speak your truth. You're here on a double mission. So you want to serve the world by being yourself. You have bigger fish to fry than, you know, than karmics. Literally, what did I say? Star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom, look a little deeper. So something here that was hidden about your ancestry or something that you needed to look deeper. It says dive deep on this one card and it says look deeper on this card. So something within you I'm getting that was buried deep or that was hidden from certain people too could it even be from this person and now they're seen right you definitely need to get some rest though somebody's been overworking themselves or you've been working a lot nourish your body take care of your body mind and spirit also it's going to start reflecting on the outside child of the cosmos you are a child of the divine child of the divine i'm just gonna say the divine i don't know what you believe in but me myself and i <laughs> You're saying me and my house we will serve the lord the intelligence of the universe lies within you so you got so much intelligence you are this old soul that's why this, you know things you don't even know how you you know that i've been that way since a little girl I used to, i'm telling y'all i used to scare my mama she said because i just know shit like how the fuck you know that maybe i've been here before so some of y'all are creative or you content creates creators could be youtube you know something here where you're very creative you could publish content or you do something maybe on tiktok but i definitely feel like this is your divine guidance baby steps action follow your intuition before it makes sense this could be the person feeling in their gut the need to take action towards you but i'm getting from my collective this is y'all feeling this need to break free and blossom into something new go towards a new beginning also take creative accountability like possibly towards your dreams your goals your desires some type of wisdom that lies within you that you need to share with the world let yourself be seen it says on this card courageous peony so you're like a flower that is blooming and opening up right now multifaceted unique nature you can you don't have to just stay in one role or one field i'm hearing you're very unique trust the time and it literally says time is not running out for you whatever it is that you do whatever this is that you're trying to manifest whether it's love finances 
your dream career it's trust the timing baby it's not running out it's on divine timing so lifting the veil anything on the line must go this is why things right now may not be moving on the time you expect but it's moving in divine timing because source is helping you to remove anything that's not aligned in your life questioning everything you need to be questioning everything right now because i'm here you can't miss what's for you but somebody could be in the energy of like very curious very much so like you know, and that's that's you need to be. This is helping you to stay grounded. A cosmic ancestor, it's a specific ancestor that's helping you out to stay grounded and to see the truth about certain things. They're helping to lift the veil. You are a seer, I'm seeing, so you're gonna see the truth of something. You're from this world, but you're not of it. Or you're in this world, but you're not of it. So you're very different. This is why you could never fit in with other people around you. This is why you're I'm hearing like you're rejected. You're many times shamed because you as somebody who has a higher purpose and you have to have thick skin in your purpose because you are definitely going to be gossiped about you're definitely going to be talked about you're going to be lied on it's going to be so much that comes with a divine being standing in their purpose and you got to have thick skin or you got to have the maturity the confidence the yep number one he was number one numero uno you just got to know who you are i'm hearing in this energy like you got to especially for the type of purpose you got 10 10 i am patient so source is saying yes have patience as we close out these cycles for you because you are in this energy of things closing out for you and new things beginning so i'm gonna stop the reading there any type of feedback i would love that y'all know i love when y'all comment and tell me if the reading resonated um thank you to my new subscribers uh, i feel like my channel is growing beautifully <laughs> um the likes do help the channel to grow so make sure you're liking the uh, video sharing the video and subscribing um i think i think that's it you guys but thank you